Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter well we're going to talk about control plans proper control plans okay so that's the subject of today's video we're going to have a look at control plans and of course what is your control plan trying to do well basically you're trying to get your CPK your process capability to be under control, to be in a good place, whatever it happens to be. That's what we're trying to do. We want to get your process capability right. So we're going to take a look at a control plan. We're going to take a look at a proper control plan, not an inspection plan. So let's go back to the basics. Everything, of course, is a process. So you've got your process. What do we want to do? Well, as always, you're trying to make money. We've got inputs to the process. And we've got outputs, things that the customer is interested in. Tolerances, specifications, could be cost, um, could be strength, all sorts of different features that the product is trying to achieve to keep your customer happy. So we've got inputs and we've got outputs. Now I have to say, lots, lots of control plans get obsessed with the output and what they decide to do is to measure it or check it. Now that is not a control plan. That is an inspection plan. And it also shows no confidence. Let's get a better pen than that. It also shows no confidence in your process. What you're basically saying is, I've set my process up, I haven't got a clue whether it's gonna work, and because I haven't got a clue whether it's gonna work, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna measure it or check it, and all this, this does over here, of course, is it grades, it grades the output. Good ones, bad ones. Rework, remake, repair. And that's all it does. It just grades the output. That's not a control plan. It's an inspection plan. A true control plan works over here and it works on the variables, the inputs, and it identifies individual variables, single things. So it could be settings on the machine. It could be sp the speed of the machine. It could be the flow setting of a liquid through the machine. It could be a temperature. So it could be settings. It could also be maintenance routines. So it could be things like the filter cleaning routine. How often do we do it? To what standard do we do it? It could be about the, the maintenance of the machine. So could be, I don't know, let's have a think here. Uh, you know, we, we're gonna, we're gonna check the, the, the hydraulic, the hydraulic oil, maybe change it once a year, something like that. Yeah, so the, the oil change routine. But they're individual, very specific variables. And then what a control plan does, it specifies the rule and it locks them down. So the rule could be, I don't know, the speed, it's gonna be 20 meters per second. The flow is gonna be five, five liters per minute, 
temperature 40 degrees filter cleaning Mondays 3 p.m. nice and specific oil change I don't know Jan 10 yearly that sort of thing and that is a control plan because if I adhere to those five things, now I only put five things in theory, of course there would be hundreds of these. But if you adhere to those five things, those outputs work. That's a control plan. What a control plan does, it doesn't measure it or check it. What it does is it guarantees it. Guarantees the output. That's a true control plan. It shows process knowledge. You understand your process so well that if you fix those five things, all your customers will be happy. That's control. Now you have the process under control. Now, of course, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to make this flow out of your FMEA process. That's what an FMEA is for. It's to create the initial control plan. If you used your FMEAs properly, that's exactly what they'd do. They would also, of course, guarantee the process capability. So this should flow out of your, it should flow out of your FMEA. What would also be linked to this? Well, of course, now you've got fantastic variable control You've got variable control that what does it do? It makes piles and piles of cash. That's what it's designed to do. What's the next thing you should do? Well, you should plug in ISO 9000 into this thing. So your ISO 9000 audit, what should it check? It should check the control plan that's come out of your FMEA. If your ISO 9000 audit makes sure that you adhere to those rules in all of your processes, what's your ISO 9000 audit doing? It makes money because that's what ISO 9000 is supposed to do. It's not supposed to put a certificate on the wall to impress your customers. That is a pathetic thing to do. Come on, wake up. This will make piles of cash if you link it to the inputs which have fallen out the FMEA, which guarantee the outputs. That is how you create a proper control plan. Now, what document you use for this, how you structure it, how you want to how you want to provide information. That's totally up to you, to be honest. I, you know, keep it simple. Just name the process, name the important inputs and just come up with the rules and then make sure that you attach the ISO 9000 audit to the rules. And all of those things, FMEA, control plan, ISO 9000, they make money, that's what they're supposed to do. They are not supposed to bury you in paperwork. If this and this and the control plan is not about inputs, it's not about making money, just bury you in paperwork and you'll never do it properly. You'll just end up, when the ISO 9000 man is due, you'll end up tidying up all your paperwork and hiding all the errors and all the problems that you've got so that the auditor never finds them. I'm sure you never do that, but it's a complete waste of money. If you're a senior manager watching this, don't be so pathetic. Get your ISO 9000 to make money. Create great control plans out of your FMEA and make piles and piles of cash because that's what control plans are about. If you've got any comments about this video, please leave them in the uh, appropriate space uh, below this video. That would be fantastic. You could also, if you want to know more, buy my book, drink tea and read the paper. But if you do nothing else, folks, please come up with a great control plan that makes piles and piles of money.